What's up? It's me, your friend, Aspiring Spike. You could... You could cut it. I don't know, you know, I was thinking that this morning, I did not know what I would cut it for if I was going to... If you're bringing Endurance for Ewit, can you move them to the main to have two spots on the sideboard? I mean, I think Ewit is better in the main deck than... Um, yeah, I think Ewit is better in the main deck than it is, than uh, uh, Endurance is. Ignoring the fact that we had Raptor on top and knew it, activating upkeep is correct to high roll Galvanic or tune the narrative. Yeah, I mean, I knew we had Raptor on top, so that, that's why I didn't. But I, I guess it was better for them to... It was still better to play around on Holy Heat a little bit, right? Oh, well, that's great. We cast Rumble, we can use the Scion to bounce the ra the Rampager and have green mana left. Well, the the Scion steps are colorless, not green, right? Or I, I do think we sequence kind of kind of wrong, but we were going to lose to the Heat uh, anyways. Oh, I guess we should have Forest in case they hit Blood Moon off Raptor here, but they didn't. But yeah, we, we could have played a little bit tighter. Always tough to play perfect when you're, you know, playing a deck on stream for the first time. One Shaper Sanctuary to sideboard place Pyro Cosmos. Shaper Sanctuary is completely unplayable. You should never include it in your modern deck. Am I supposed to Oracle first to influence my Raptor hits? Let's not. Another brick on this. I mean, I'm going to put Primal Prison in my hand to play around um, Static Prison. And then winning the game this turn is going to be tough. Or <clears throat> maybe I should say not possible. Yeah, we could play Nadu instead of <laughs> Shaper Sanctuary. Yeah, I think I'm just going to cast another Amtraptor and hope for the best. Could could get another Recruiter first, but I kind of, like, you know, I'm unsure. All right, let's just, let's just grab Shrieking Drake as, like, removal protection here. Pass back. Naughty Primal Prayers. We, yeah, we've tried Naughty Primal Prayers. The list could be a little bit more up to date, but I'm kind of off Naughty. Positive with the two years. Welcome back. Appreciate you coming in and supporting the stream with the subscription. It's definitely the best way to do so. Twitter is my only social media platform. Um, I mean, there's Twitch and YouTube. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I think Twitter is important to have for, like, you know, communicating with people. There isn't really, like, another good place to do that, I think, for streamers. But I, I also agree that Twitter has been full of, like, misinfo and racism and stuff lately. Like, just a huge concentration of it. I've been staying off there a little bit more than usual. Okay, this is a weird turn. So, pick this up, draw a card. I think this is right. Ooh. I think we're using this as a ritual. Okay, so my Shrieking Drake is already gone, and I can't get Rampager off the Recruiter, which is always a problem, though, for the stack. What could we do? I could I could witness back something. Could just Raptor again. We had a Determinist to kill. I, I don't believe we did. If you want to type out how we had a Determinist to kill, let me know. If we had another Shrieking Drake in the deck, we only have one. Things would be a bit easier. I think I'm going to grab Witness here, and then... Cast a rumble and see what happens. There we go. There's a win.
Take a little bit. What would second Drake do in that spot? So second Drake would uh, be able to trigger the port mage. And so for each energy I have, I can draw a card. So it, it would just like be the best thing to get in this spot, but it wouldn't be deterministic. This deck is really sick. I'm glad it's working so well. Especially like it, it it's it's pretty early too, like the cyborg like always on new brews needs work and there's a good chance we probably shouldn't play the second witness. Second witness is probably fine. I don't know what I would play in that spot. I don't think I'd play third solar transformer. And of course being an amped raptor deck, like you're kind of restricted, you can't play like, you know, counter spells. Is there a recruiter target that can get rampager? I don't think so. If there is, you know, that would be good. We could maybe do some digging. Molten Gatekeeper to speed up clicks. I, I strongly doubt that Molten Gatekeeper would speed up clicks. I didn't mean to click that one. I would almost, be, I would feel pretty confident that it'd be more clicks. The clicks are not too bad here in, in, anyways. But you also, you also just, I, it, you know, if you're naughty, you can play Oracle, but you, in general, shouldn't play a card that makes your deck worse to speed up clicks. Uh, we've talked about Server of the Conduit. I think Solar Transformer is a lot better. It gives you an artifact for Delirium for your Woodland. It just doesn't die either. Um, Servant's just not modern playable. Okay, so Rending Volley's in. Pyroclasm's in. And I'm cutting. I'm cutting the transformers and the tunes since we don't need to be super fast in this matchup. Why play artifact ramp over energy mana fork? We were just talking about this, but artifacts are hard to kill, so you're more likely to be able to kill on turn three if you play solar transformer. Servant of the conduit, hard to easy to kill, low card quality, shitty card. Any consideration of perforos effects? I think there's a two drop pinger. There's, there's a three-mana creature pinger. There are two-mana enchantment pingers. There's proof Rose. Just, just play a Thassa's Oracle. Thassa's Oracle wins through the ring. Let's just play Oracle. I had a, a red-green build that was playing Molten, whatever. Let me, I, might, I think I have that one on here, actually. Or I guess I had Naya. I thought I had, I thought I had just... Did I not have red-green? Is this it? Maybe this deck at one point was red green with Primal Prayers over Aether Revolt, and this this build was trying to Aether Revolt. I don't think I ever played a game with this deck. It was just like, uh... okay, on the draw against uh, Boros Energy with a pretty good hand, having you know three removal spells, one of them that can kill Sun Cleanser is pretty pretty good. All right, have to get Stomping Ground here, so I won't have blue mana yet, but I got double shifting woodland. I need a forest. We could hit Primal Prayers off our Raptor next turn. It's okay. I mean, I like that Chad is so inquisitive and wants to figure it out with me, of course. Okay, we did hit Primal Prayers. Can't quite combo, but that's pretty nice. If only we had the turn two win. I don't. Yeah, the the suggestions of like just let's not. Uh, I would look at, if my opponent Galvanic discharges the Raptor here, or like bolts it. We can go witness it back, replay it. But like to not play Raptor in this deck, I think is probably wrong. Raptor is just so so good. Oh, the shall I go? What deck would we use? We played Is It Wizards in the challenge. We went 0 2 drop. Lost to Nadu, lost to uh, Jeskai. Jeskai player played really well. Um, probably could have played differently in the Jeskai match to win. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Is there a game played around Thassa Counterspell? Yeah, we have Witness. Is Vexing Bob an issue? 
There are not a lot of Vexy bubbles in the format. It's mostly Nadu that plays it. It is an issue. I don't really have a good plan against it at the moment, to be honest. So I can Shrieking Drake, uh, Witness for Raptor for Raptor Cast. It's just been mana to cast the Raptor. Sure. I'm out of energy now. It's fine. Is it fine? I don't know. Got a lot of power in play. Got two removal spells in hand. Kills most of their stuff. Can't be feeling too bad about this spot. Balo Summer could be a good Vexing Bobble answer. Could be. I mean, I think that we could also just like play an Imperial Recruiter, or oh, sorry, a Recruiter target that can kill the Vexing Bobble. We do have the Sage You. But at, at the moment, I just probably will wait until that card is more popular to really worry about it much. What is this? What do they got? Fable. Okay, can't Rending Volley a Fable token. They had two cards in their hand. I'm surprised it took them so long to just go cast that. Yeah, Rex Age or Hey You Are Might, of course, one of those. All right, gonna get another Raptor. So they loot away a Flage. Guess I could double rending volley it. Maybe cut second Ewit from main deck might also good against ring decks. I think we're kind of naturally good against ring decks. Maybe, maybe not. But yeah, you, may, you could maybe main deck the might. I wouldn't. I wouldn't hate that. Opponent targets me, which is so greedy. I can't believe it. If I draw land, I'll cast the Raptor first. Into another Raptor, which gives me more energy back later. Kind of a good hit. So I can cast stuff with the Primal Prayers. Okay. I guess they're thinking so long about Flage versus Fable. Your turn. You got three cards in your hand. Johnny. If they have a second to Johnny, that's, that's pretty good. I think they go to one if they block all, only raptors here. If they block like this, they, they can flip the Ajani. Like they could block, you know, they could block the raptor with the Ajani and then they could flip it. But right now it looks like they're going to kill a raptor. Go to one. Yeah, cool game for sure. The game's been great today with the stack. They can't block raptor. Oh, sure. The raptor also has first strike. Duh. <laughs> Never mind. If I could have fetched a forest this game, they would have been so cooked. So we get to keep our recruiter with this. They're at one life. The Ajani has to kill the Shrieking Drake, probably. But we just have five attackers to their two blockers. They have two cards in their hand, so... They, they need the, like, Ajani, which would have been the draw plus relevant spell. So nice to win that one. We're 2-0 oh against Energy, 5-1 and one with this deck overall. Very close to getting a trophy. They were supposed to block the recruiter with Fable. Yeah. I'm going to put back this Galvanic Discharge, I guess. My opponent's on a multi six. The deck takes out the rest of the stream. Uh, I'm not sure. I th probably we've done a lot of them today. One of Hub. I don't know. You could play a Hub, yeah. I'll probably just play another fetch land though. Fetch lands are just so good. But I mean, the, the third woodland is also nice. It's like we haven't played against control yet, but as soon as you play against like, is it wizards or just guy control? You like you you need to find one of these to win the game, and having having three just like means you're gonna be able to do it faster. If I go to thirty four months, thank you. Welcome back. Appreciate you. 
How do you get it out turn two? You can do a turn two with Amtraptor. This is more of a turn three win with um, our six two mana ramp spells. Can keep that one. Rumblin. So I already have a shifting woodland. I guess we just keep it. Get another one because the the main the main problem here would be my opponent killing my spawn this turn cycle, and then I can't primal prayers. And if they do that, I can just like I need I need the fourth mana. Galvanic Blast. Yeah, you, you have you have tuned the narrative and Galvanic Discharge to make enough energy to go off turn two. We did we did turn two primal prayers off an of Amp Raptor earlier. Okay, Godless Shrine or Prismatic Ending. Force of Negation would be brutal here because we couldn't copy our thing with Woodland. We do have Delirium. Now we don't really have enough energy to probably go off. We have to like hit well off of our raptor, I guess. So there's an Imperial Recruiter. Which I think I just say no to so I can have the extra energy. And then I could go like Witness for Recruiter for Port Mage and then I'm out of juice. I guess I'll just... Shrieking Drake the Raptor, replay it. So there's Rampager. So I guess what we should do is we should go cast this, go down to two energy in response so we don't have to spin two. Cast Eternal Witness, get back the Recruiter. Ram, Ram Belt, Green Belt Rampager enters, we go up to two, and then I can go Recruiter for Port Mage, cast Port Mage, and I'm one energy short of winning the game right now, but we can we can just pass. My opponent griefs, it's kind of interesting. Thought seizes, also interesting. Yeah, so I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna put a port mage into play. Oh, I can't activate it, I don't have any blue mana. I guess we still do, so like any blue source is a win. I guess not even a win because I don't have the rampage anymore. Yeah, I think it's just good to have it in play. Oh, let's go, baby. Let's go. Thank you, Prismatic Ending. Didn't realize that would happen. Doubt my opponent realized that would happen either. Oh, sorry. I also punted. I should just witness back the rampager. My bad. So I think I'll just do that next turn. Let's just get our card right now with the ability to high roll a galvanic discharge for the win. Yeah, yeah, I know we punted. I just I was just excited to draw the uh <laughs> the card off the prismatic ending still. So no fifty one, appreciate you. New rooms have been gas. Yeah, they've been fun. I I'm feeling good. You know, I, I I am having a lot of fun with the brews and the new cards and everything. Despite Nadu not being banned. Things have been fun. Okay, so we get an energy, draw a card. Now we go off. It's not clear what the pending makes us draw a card. So Port Mage says whenever a creature leaves the battlefield without dying. So exile removal. 
uh, removes the it, it makes the creature leave the battlefield without dying. It exiles instead of dying. Is Mockingbird still my pick for best card of the set? I don't know. I think Kitsa was my pick, or maybe it was the uh, Thundertrap Trainer. I don't think I ever felt like it was um, Mockingbird. I just like Mockingbird a lot. I like Kitsa a lot. I like Thundertrap. Kits is shining a bit more in the Basim build, I think, than it was in the Wizard build, but it's like still playable in the Wizard deck. Yeah, I thought I thought Kitsa was my initial pick. Yeah, Mock Mockingbird is one of the best design cards of the year. It's like, it's elegant, it's cool, it's evocative, it gives you a lot of brew potential, it's constructed playable, and the name is also just, it's like the best named card in Magic's history maybe, or like top top 10 best named cards in addition to just everything else. M Mockingbird is like, my, my, probably maybe my pick for best designed card of the year. Raptor could exile Thoracle. Well, if you cast if you cast Oracle off Raptor, it's not really a problem because you can discharge it, witness it back. You can um, shrieking Drake it back. Never consider one of Guide of Souls for Infinite Life. So the problem with Guide of Souls is that it gives you too much energy to do this loop. It's not the biggest problem, but it's also like not in our colors. Against a Solitude opponent, we're definitely going to go to zero cards in our library here. I don't remember drawing the Thoracle. Is it here? Probably, okay, there it is. Is running a Grape Shot... Is this deck running grips on the board? Seems like it could be a good alternate wing con with Thoracle being stopped. So what what are you worried about stopping Thassa's Oracle? Because we have Endurance to shuffle it back in post-board. We have Witness to get it back if it gets countered or discarded. If it gets exiled too, we just attack for a bunch. But also, like, why would you play a Grave Shot instead of just a second Oracle? Because, you know, Oracle wins through the ring. You'll die if they salt you to zero cards. No, no, we win. If you, if you have zero Devotion and there's zero cards, you still win. We also had one extra Devotion from the Port Mage. But Solitude doesn't stop Oracle if there are no cards in library. Good question, though. So I don't think I want zero Galbanic Discharges. I think I want one. Oh, the Solitude makes me draw, dude. Okay, so the, so we should have we should have left one card in the library. I see. Heads up. Heads up play. Although I could have Galvanic Discharged my Port Mage in response in that spot. Um, I don't know if I would have had the Wherewithal to. But I, I could have uh, Discharged my own Port Mage there. Yeah, I'm going to go get a, a drink real quick. Be right back. What's up? It's me, your friend, Aspiring Spike. Uh, on the draw against Gorios, I'm going to keep. Do you think Dream Trawler could ever be viable in Modern? It would be, like, incredibly niche. But maybe... This is not a beer. This is a, a tea. It totally looks like a beer. Weird tea. Can't you keep responding to the Guide of Souls trigger with your loop to gain infinite life and infinite energy? I guess so, yeah. I guess so. So maybe it's not as big a problem. Good point. They didn't take the Endurance. Let's go ahead and tune the narrative here. Okay, I'm gonna go fetch my commercial district, and then I'm I'm probably gonna just cast a uh, three four. That gives me delirium for the woodland, which is good if they had thoughts use my prayers. Why is too so too much energy is an issue? Because if you have two energy for rampager, you have to spend it. Like here, like we we had casting this means we have we have to spin it to get our three four in play. 
which I don't even think is like intentional on the card. It, it might have been, but I think this card is mostly templated this way so that like the idea is that this is a one mana three four and you want it and you, it's a one mana three four that costs you two energy and it helps you get there itself. But having having pressure on them while I have this uh endurance up, I think is pretty nice. It's definitely intentional. It would be green gate and energy otherwise. Yeah, I mean, is, is that like that big a problem? Maybe it is, but maybe it is. It probably, it probably was. No, so with with the with the guide of souls build, it's not dead on arrival because you can um you can respond to the guide of souls triggers. It's a pain in the ass though. Okay, so I kind of want endurance now, so my opponent can't go thought seizer grief plus gorios. Feels reasonable. I don't think I would do this unless I just had them under a good amount of pressure. If they fetch, I can also hit them for five and then hit them for then just play out this rampager and then hit them for uh eight next turn, maybe more at the woodland. First endurance, the main probably worth it over second witness. I don't I feel like in the main, I don't I don't I don't see why it would. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't. You can't tutor it, uh, and both both just help with you having your oracle in the yard. So I don't. I don't really see what the problem is. Ooh, damping sphere. And a and a blocker for my witness. Pretty bad. They can't grief themselves though. I'm not talking about them griefing themselves. I'm talking about them griefing my endurance, and then if I endurance their graveyard in response, they gorios in response. Yeah, I'm not talking about them thought seizing themselves. I'm talking about them thought seizing my endurance. They did take the damping sphere here. Okay, I think I am just gonna play another three four, and hope that they don't have Gorios, and hope that they're gonna play this damping sphere and we beat them down. If not, we have game three. Okay, no worries. Z, just wanna make sure it's clear. Can't I combo now? Uh, no, I can't. I I I don't have my Dower Port Mage to draw my deck. They grief pitch Gorio's Vengeance. So I did play around it, but then they found another attracts in the arm. Game three on the play. Is it not better to put prayers in the play? Well, my opponent has a damping sphere in their hand, so no. I think it was better to like like in next turn I could also like surveil into a land and like I'm shifting wilted and endurance and get in for a lot of damage. Okay, on the play. With a nice hand that needs to lead on shifting woodland because we don't have a forest. So I feel like I see a lot of damping spheres out of Gorios. Maybe it's just like a one of artifact to grab off a of Traxa for Tron or something. What's on a mold of five? They catch any of the MTGO Masters, no banlist. I didn't know. It sounded pretty fun. I took this season off the MTGO Masters. What's on a mold of five? Okay. Woodland, go. No entomb, no entomb, no entomb. Okay, nice. Card on top. Against solitude decks that can make you draw a port mage? They can, yeah. It's, it's It seems like it's something you can play around kind of easy, though. All right, we have prayers. We have uh, woodland for prayers if they grief it with, like, a second rumble to probably get delirium. Thought about playing, <laughs> not playing an oracle and hoping your opponent... Conceded. So not a single opponent has conceded yet uh, <laughs> when we're doing our loop. So probably not the best plan. All right, four cards in their hand. It's a good draw. Kind. Of, I guess not that doesn't do that much actually. That's an interesting rumble. 
So, but if I take Endurance, I don't have a green card for to pitch. Tiger, congratulations. Let me mod you real quick. We're out of VIP slots. Unless someone wants to gift like a thousand subs real quick. Mod time. I'm going to grab the recruiter here. Save the Besage you for Damping Sphere. And then this will give us three energy to start off with on our Shifting Woodland turn. Took four years, but we've made it. Thanks for getting me through COVID. Hell yeah, Tiger. I think about those times pretty often. We're here. We're on the other side. No one tomb, no one tomb, no one tomb. No one tomb, baby. There's a frog, though. Frog's not, not the scariest here. All right, I think so I don't have to spend the energy off the solar transformer. We'll play the Besage you out. I think we start with the Raptors. Just see what we hit. Obviously looking for a green belt Rampager. Uh, I'm going to not cast that, actually, because it costs me three energy. I think it's better to just have more energy here. Because I can go Recruiter for Shrieking Drake and kind of go off. Um, I guess this is probably worth it. So if I cast this, I go down to one energy, then back up to two. But then I don't have to worry about woodlanding every turn. Although maybe that's just not the case, because I can go poor mage recruiter, Drake. Yeah, I just I just need the I just need more energy. Kind of weird. Yeah, back up to three, but it's just like I just the extra energy for this Drake is just such a big deal. Kind of feels like they have a solitude. They do. Pitching Priest of Fell Rites. So now I could pick up an Amped Raptor, or I could just like pick up Recruiter and get another Port Mage. I think I'm going to do that. And then not necessarily feel like I played this turn perfectly. Was it worth sacrificing the Eldrazi to save an energy? Um, uh, I guess I'm a little confused. Like when when did I spend? I didn't spend an energy off the Transformer. I guess I, so. I could have sacked it and then set the island for the Shrieking Drake. That could have been better. Yeah. Okay, they got one card in their hand. So am I going to chump block with the Drake to deny a card? Yeah, I guess so. If we had left up Banas of Solar Ray, we could have played Port Mage off of it. I see. Yeah, it was, maybe that was better. That was a good Wrath Disguise. And that was a good top deck. Anu, the 29, thank you, welcome back. Appreciate you. Hopefully they brick on their draw. Uh, deck is going well. We almost trophied our first league, and now we're we one zero up a game, or it's our game three. Oh, sorry, I can't. I, I was gonna recruit her for Rampager, then forgot we still can't do that. I think I'll just bounce this and see what we draw. Hopefully, find a land. Untap land, I said right. Better than the average draw. I saw Oracle. Is there a combo here? Not only is there a combo here, this is a combo deck trying to uh, Greenbelt Rampager, Port Mage, loop our deck, win the game. I don't know why I tap so awfully.
I'm gonna pick up the prayers, I think. You only get to play games like this after a Wrath of the Skies happens. Why only two Transformers? Don't we want to race our Forge up every game? Well, we have four Rumble and two Transformers. So we have six ways to do this. We also have Amped Raptor. Um, and you, you really do not want to draw two solo Transformers over the course of a game. So I think two is good. You can play one. I'm closer to playing one than I am playing three. So are they going to get their Psychic Frog back? Or are they going to get something of mine back? They get Endurance back. With the ability to play it into play. Sorry. Yeah, so they, they can put that into play at instant speed. So I guess I'm glad I got my Primal Purse back so they couldn't hate my graveyard. Then why don't we just go Recruiter for Raptor and see... Well, we can hit another spot where a second Shrieking Drake might be good. Well, that's the card to let us win the game. Does my opponent have anything? So I, I guess they, they, they do still have this Endurance, right? They still have this Endurance. So they can endurance me after I okay. The last two cards are Solitude Wrath Disguise, <laughs> and there's target the Port Mage, but this is fine because I can go pick up Recruiter with Port Mage. So do I? So okay. So what what am I what am I doing now? I can go recruiter for port mage, but then I'm out of energy. So we are just we can't combo right now. We're passing the turn. I'll attack for two. So if, so my opponent like takes two, or they use their emperor, their one of emperor activation. Yeah, maybe second Drake over second Witness. There have been enough, enough times that I want the second Drake that that seems like a good change. Okay, so they drew a land for turn, but they they have another Surveil land. No Entomb, no Entomb, no Entomb. Okay, no Entomb. Important is a timeless and one on turn zero due to opponent's show and tell. That is so funny. Okay, so they target a Solitude here. This should be fine. Wait, I'm out of port mages? I didn't realize that. Do I have fetchables left? Looks like I have the least basic forest. Since it's an exile somehow. Okay, not. Okay, so we bring back a port mage. If my opponent endurance is, it's okay, because I have the woodland to copy a port mage. Yeah, we, this should be a win. Okay, so we go... Shifting woodland is now a copy of... Port mage. Do the combo. Man, this deck is sick, dude. Oh, actually, I want to... I think I guess... I guess the, it doesn't matter if these resolve, but... I don't have that many cards left in my library anyways. And my opponent will concede, probably. All right, six and one overall. Can we keep this and put back the second Drake? 
I'm Ado with Rockrick now. I'll be proud. I am proud. I've been thinking about Rockrick and Flage like a little bit lately. What what is your build like? Bop. I haven't seen a bop in a while. Okay, don't need the third primal prayers. Is there a Simic build and not a Labelers? The red cards are really, really, really good. I, I I don't think there's a good reason to be Simic over over uh, Bant or Teamer. Okay, so they're Warren Soul Trader combo, pretty cool. I think Molten Gatekeeper could be good as another combo fish with Green Belt, also on Earth One. It could be there's there's some issues of like not killing through the ring, and then there's the issue of um, if you can't get rid of your own port mage, you will have to draw with port mage when you do the loop, and then you might just you might just not be able to kill your opponent um, because you uh, can't get rid of your own port mage. But um, that might not be that big of an issue. But but like the ring existing is probably enough. <laughs> Sub one, 35 months, think welcome back. Yeah, we need to bring back the original opening theme song soon. Yeah, we just, it, just, it doesn't feel like we need another win con, you know? You can kill an upkeep through the ring. Yeah, but they can, like, have more interaction and stuff. It, it, it could be fine. I, I don't know. I don't have the strongest feelings. It's also, like, multi-gatekeeper is a lot weaker to removal, uh, where Oracle just kind of isn't. Okay, so our opponent has infinite life. Well, no no longer can no longer gains infinite life. We're probably dead if they're just casting something else. Okay, dead. Also, if you unearth the thing, I don't know. Okay, so down a game against Warren Soul Trader combo. I'm going to bring in the Pyroclasms. Do I want Endurance? Endurance does stop the combo. Let's not. Maybe I'll play one extra tune, one less Solar Transformer. Go, go playable again. Ah, I don't know, man. Put it, cast a company and win the, won the game. It's a start at the very least. And you realize the uh, Synergizer got a new account here. Oh, I know about MTG Synergizer. <laughs> Drop two games total with this deck. Uh, have you played two games? <laughs> have you played only two games? Or <laughs> how many games have you played total? That wasn't Infinite Life. They lose. Oh, right, right. They lose one. They get one per group. Crawler done. They need two of the thing to get Infinite Life. It's worth keeping. Good chance I'm gonna like discharge a birds of paradise, then play surveil land, looking for another land maybe. Eight no, only lost two games, have lost a match. Awesome. That that's I I love I love the feedback. Certainly very helpful. Thank you. I think that's nice. Yeah, Synergizer is kind of a famous salt lord. <laughs> they've they've definitely like yelled at me multiple times <laughs> uh, for my luck. <laughs> it's okay, but I, that, it seems that they're on a new account. Like, might have account might have gotten banned. Hard to say. All right, so keep this land for the prayers next turn. I guess we might as well just go up in energy. So if we had a prayers off of our raptor, we can cast it. All right, so that's a win next turn. Raptor is so good in this deck. <laughs> What's so funny is 
Okay, so I've gone to MTG Synergizer's YouTube channel, and what's weird is Synergizer always promotes their YouTube channel in chat. Like, like basically every time I play against this person, they like promote their channel. I watch other people play; they promote it. They don't. They like don't post. <laughs> they like don't post. <laughs> it's so funny to me. <laughs> they, they, that's. <laughs> I don't know. They just don't post. It's fine. It's just it's just very funny that they promote it so much, but without you know, <laughs> really like. Oh no! Oh my gosh! Sorry. Yeah, posting now. I suppose. No posting. Yeah, yeah, posting videos. What I mean. Okay, dead to a war insult trader. Yeah, I guess I should have held up the discharge this last turn. Looks like we get there here. Get there though. No, they have a YouTube channel. I've been I've been to Synergizer's YouTube channel. This is fine. No hate or anything. I just think it's funny how much they push it, right? Okay, I'm just I'm broke. Yeah, Conqueror's theme would be pretty good. But yeah, I remember we did, like like a lot of streamers who start off, you use some copyrighted assets. Gotta scrub those. No, th th this is this is how the synergizer is. <laughs> Known quite the character. We love the synergizer. If the if we wheat the synergizer here, we'll get some salt in the chat. Probably, maybe not. I guess if I did this. Maybe, I guess this makes comboing a lot easier. Well, I guess not actually that much easier. Is it worth playing another port mage to draw faster? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Revive my Discord so I don't go twenty more. I I'm never gonna be posting actively on Discord. We we chat every day here, Simon. You know, or I don't know. You could you could have fun in there, but I <laughs> have no intentions of ever being a regular Discord chatter. Just not for me, you know. I'm too introverted. Nice thing to have access to. I'm gonna scrape my Twitter content there. Okay, <laughs> deal. Oh, there. So I scrolled past it. Would I was I was banned from the Hard and Scales Discord and uh, the One Ring Hater Discord, maybe. Uh, 
I'm introverted. Talk to a thousand people with your eyes weak. Yeah, I just got. I, <laughs> things are not mutually exclusive. It's it's draining the the streaming. I enjoy it, but I do need to decompress after stream usually. When I get banned, I can't talk. I can't talk about the hardened skills ban because of an ongoing lawsuit. But I have a lot of tea to spill once it's over. All right, let's give this one a go. Okay, put on some of that mold six on the play. But I just said I can't talk about it because of the lawsuit with the hardened scales discord. You're gonna get me in legal trouble, chat. <laughs> okay, they banned me because I put I top eight it with the ring and one of my scales deck. Which I really thought was unfair. Now that everyone's playing the ring and scales. Let's keep that on top. Oh, we got to turn. Well, I guess not deterministic, but. No help here. Don't really need any more lands. I guess I'll take the transformer. Blood Artist Trigger Jump Scare. <laughs> I love the Synergizer. Guess I might as well block the... Grave crawler, I take two. Just get the grave crawler off the field. <laughs> you ever consider jamming raptor to get lucky last turn? You have to get really, really lucky. I mean, you have to hit through rampager. I don't even really know what 16 ounce my opponent's talking about. Yeah, 16 out of 51 is not... <laughs> it wasn't like that. <laughs> Unlucky. Ask them. Well, I don't know. It's, a, it's like Coco and it's like Warren Soul Trader, Coco for Warren Soul Trader, which, you know, isn't an out exactly. Ask him to explain it, please. No. <laughs> We're also not, like, necessarily going to win, right? Let's start with the raptor. into another raptor, which is just the same amount of energy. Maybe it's better to delete, not cast that, so it could, no, it just stays in XL, never mind. Okay, so I think we just bounce this one time, and then I guess we go one more time on the Shrieking Drake, and then we bounce the raptor on the last one. Hmm. Okay, so I guess now we go recruiter for Raptor, and if we hit if we hit Greenbelt Rampager, that's good. We win the game. And if we miss, then we just have two energy. So this is kind of just free to do. Oh, three energy. Four energy. Kind of failed to think of this as a good hit. Come on, Rampager. So three energy in the pool. Can't cast that.
All right, so same plan, I guess. All right, Rampager or another energy generator. Okay, another energy generator. This is fun. Oh, wait, but I have no more creatures to cast. Except this Oracle. So now I'm dead. Oh, no, I'm not dead. Wait, I am dead. Okay, so if I chump block the, the chatter fang, or the chatter fang has forest walk, I can't even block it. I'm dead. Right, I'm take yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> Congratulations, Synergizer. Should we have played Oracle to look at four cards instead of one of the Shrieking Drake casts? Maybe, yeah, maybe. It's good to see you on a rug. You first strike. Yeah, I mean the first the thing is they have three blood artists in play, so yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, we, if we first strike on Zulapur, we take three, and then we're dead at the Chatterfang, and then we also still have damage off the Grave Crawlers. So, congratulations to the Synergizer. Dead here. Okay, um, Master Brewer since Alpha nineteen ninety three defeating Aspiring Spike. I think that's probably a good stopping point from today. I think I want to make a couple changes to the deck, anyways. Um, so why don't we do that uh, Monday, Monday or Sunday? So no stream tomorrow. I think we're streaming uh, the, the the Super Qualifier Sunday. Not 100% for that. If not, we'll just be back Monday. Definitely going to play more of this deck, though. Maybe advanced build, too. But definitely want to play some Thank <laughs> you.